Hi, it's Marian Owen in Kodiak, Alaska. Today is July 8, and we're going to take a tour around our garden and get a little update on what's going on. So, let's get started. First of all, here are three bumblebee houses, and two out of three are occupied. And the left one is occupied by bumblebees, the middle one by yellow jackets. I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to keep those guys. You can see them flying around there. Yeah, well, they got a paper nest in there, I'm sure. And they are, after all, pollinators. So, hmm, that's just the way it goes. I'll let them be neighbors for now. So let's take a look over here. This is one of my favorite areas of the garden. And, oh, by the way, let's see how. We got some buckets here of stuff. Stuff for the compost piles. Yes, indeed. One, two, that's insulation for the next one to start up here. And this one is an active compost pile. Yep, and there's my buddy, Compost Cowboy, and let's try and read this thermometer. Yep, it's 140 degrees, and I am excited. Compost Cowboy, I found him in a kelp patch on the beach while I was collecting goodies for the compost pile. So, here we go. I'm going to walk by the wood piles, get ready for the winter. All right, everybody needs a life buoy. And here we have, whoops, sorry about that, some foxglove. And that's an octopus pot. And I've got sweet peas growing in there. Here's some comfrey, red currant. The bees love comfrey. Oh my goodness. All right. Oh, something special. Here are blue poppies, Himalayan blue poppies. And one of the reasons why I wanted to shoot this right now is because the wind is starting up and it's probably going to strip off a few of those petals, but oh, I love these guys. Yep. They're a cool climate poppy. Not a true poppy. It's a Mechanopsis. And it's a Tibetan poppy. So if you live in a warm climate, you probably won't be able to grow them. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm going to head on over to the Bleeding Hearts. Oh yeah, bees love these guys too. But if you'll notice here, let's get this down a little bit, maybe up a little. You can see there's little holes chewed along here on the top of each one of these. And that's because the bumblebees or most pollinators can't get inside from the bottom. And so they figure out later in the summer that if they chew a hole through the top, they can rob the nectar. Sneaky, isn't it? Okay, here's the greenhouse. We'll just latch the door every time we go in and out, but here we go. And the fans run 24 seven. That's very important. Otherwise we get fungus and uh, mold and all kinds of things growing. So 24 seven, the windows open and uh, the marigolds are here to keep the aphids down. Cucumbers are just starting to reach now and the squash, small tomatoes, big tomatoes here on the right. Ooh, and we've got some strawberries. Love those strawberries. Yep. And that's the ocean you see there. Sometimes the whales even surface right in front. Yep. Okay, give this another latch. Okay. 
sweet peas, not quite blooming yet. Now here is something quite rare. This is a white Mechanopsis, like a white Himalayan poppy or blue poppy, so to speak. But yep, it's quite lovely. It's so fun. They don't last very long, but it's great to have them around. And soon we'll have these snapdragons blooming. Yep and poppies, gladiolas with stakes, purple coneflower, which is pretty rare to be able to grow this in Alaska, well, especially coastal Alaska. And we have onions. I am just covering them up for this rain squall that's coming so they don't get too saturated. And you can see I've got it covered with plastic. This is a special reinforced plastic over a three quarter inch PVC hoop. And um, the hoops stay up year round. And then we just cover it with a variety of materials depending on if we want web to keep the birds out or plastic to keep the snow and rain out. And then, um, and I clip them to the PVC pipe with these two inch um, giant paper clips and they work great. And uh, here's salmon berries that are starting to form fruit. Um, give you a shot of the ocean here. Yeah. Oars, everybody needs oars in their garden, right? Yep. American flag. So we're gonna take a, a little walk down these steps. Comes a boat. By the way, here's my one of my favorite flowers. These are Iceland poppies. And you see that sign down there? It says Banya. Banya is it's a sauna. That's what it is. Potatoes, potatoes in halibut tubs. These are commercial, very sturdy pots that they use for halibut fishing. And uh, then down along here is where they put their uh, fish hooks. And then they have long lines. And um, I have tubs down here at the entrance to our sauna. potatoes. Yep, and there's a house. So let's go back up the stairs again. I'll show you the rest of the garden. Garlic. So pretty soon I'll be checking. Well, it looks like I've got, see I've got Scapes starting to show, so I will pinch these scapes off the flower stalks about right here and then um, gather them up and I'll make some lovely pesto out of those. And now you might laugh, this bed here is covered with plastic. I know, it's zucchini. And we just can't grow zucchini outdoors here, so to speak. So we keep it covered and it's pretty happy. It's really starting to bloom now, but the zucchini here just needs a little extra help from 
the coolness and the rain and stuff. So, but it works. Come back to you guys later. Ah, okay. So here is another use for these PVC pipes. And that is um, to hold shrimp web. You see this shrimp web here or fishnet? And that's to protect the carrots, whatever else is growing in here. In this case, it's carrots and, um, and spinach. And sweet peas there on the end. More sweet peas and lettuce and mescaline mix or greens, you see? And then in the foreground, um, this is cress. The variety is wrinkled, crinkled, crumpled cress. But cress has been shown now to be even more nutritious than kale. It's pretty peppery. But it's also really, really yummy. And there's our mescaline mix and lettuce, broccoli and kale. And this is a newly planted batch of some greens here. And they are covered up. These are commercial fishing. These are egg trays, so to speak. And I just have them covered because it's just a small area. Instead of using the fishnet, I'm just using these trays to protect them from direct sun and little birdies. Yep. Rhododendrons that are done blooming. Okay. Uh, we got snap peas and rhododendrons that are done. Okay, more blue poppies. Yeah, aren't they lovely? Just love these guys. Yep, blue poppies. So I just wanted to show you the blue poppies because they won't be here forever. It's a very, well, a couple weeks, but they look ideal right now. I hear a bumblebee. Bumblebees, they have a mmm sound versus a honeybee, which is mmm. Okay, that's done blooming. Ah, oh, okay, another octopus pot. And my little bookshelves on the fence, so to speak. I put little treasures in there. Rhododendron. This is a blue Peter rhododendron that my dad used to love. Here's more blue poppies. And these are kind of a special plant. This is a primrose. This is a kind of primrose you can see. See the three tiers or whorls? I call it my Dr. Seuss plant. Now that's a rhododendron. I was trying to catch a bumblebee. The rhubarb patch is all but done be being picked. So all done with that. A few foxgloves snuck in there, I know. Oh, hi Daisy. This is Daisy the dragon. Um, she steams from our boiler, which is kind of fun. We have a PVC pipe coming out from our boiler, so I thought I'd decorate it up with a, a mosaic here. So we have Daisy the dragon. More containers on the deck. Yep. And everybody needs hands and feet in their garden, right? Woohoo! This is another very special primrose, a favorite of mine. Check that out. Isn't that cool? These rockets? Woo! Fun. And everybody needs a ladybug. All right, let's go visit the hoop house. On the way, we'll check out how the lettuce is doing in the repurposed rain gutters. Yep. There's the hoop house. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, 
here are the plantings, the planter boxes, and uh, my experiment with putting sweet peas in hanging baskets. They're supposed to be um, they're supposed to be a sweet pea that's only knee high, but I think I got the seed packets mixed up because they are trailing like they're giant ones. Right, and raised beds, which are gonna have gladiolas and a variety of poppies in there. So let's open up the hoop house. Don't laugh. It sounds like there's a, a, a sheep in here because of the groaning fan, but. So this is the second crop of things in here. We've got um, tomatoes, we've got uh, beans on the right and uh, more carrots planted, beets, and uh, beans on the left, more marigolds to keep the aphids out. And we've got compost tea right there. So bye, squeaky fan. We'll talk to you later. And this lawn here is all organic. We don't use anything else but compost to keep this lawn happy. And it's um, planted, oh boy, we've probably had this lawn now 13 years. Never had a chemical on it, yeah. And here's the entrance to our, our bed and breakfast actually. And um, guest parking. on the other side of the hoop house, you see? And more blue poppies. Yeah. Oops, there we go. Yeah. And another halibut to have, or excuse me, um, octopus pot. I will let you know when these sweet peas start blooming. Okay. Thank you for visiting and um, we'll see you again soon and if anybody has some nice wide mouth glass bottles to put on these uh, steaks to hold up the gladiolas later in the summer, send them on over. I'd love them. Okay and with that, say hi and bye to Daisy and enjoy the rest of your day.